South Valley Little League players hit the baseball diamond this afternoon, but allegations of mishandling money left a dark cloud over opening day. Some parents gathered signatures, board members defended themselves, and eventually both sides could end up in court. News 13's Annie McCormick has the story. This is one of the sounds parents and players should expect to hear on opening day at South Valley's Little League. Real Come here, yes. let's sign this. Instead, parents are greeted by a petition to oust the program's Little League board over money. And they're just mishandling it and not keeping records. And they're not using it wisely. A lot of cheating going on, a lot of things that were going on within the board. The accusations, uniforms were not ordered on time, raffle prizes gifted to friends of the board, and grants allotted to the team misused. We are lacking in volunteers this year. Uh, it hurts because bottom line, I'm here for these kids. Board President Roxanne Gonzalez says the petitioners are wrong and fellow board members agree. It is the county that receives and divvies up the funding and bids. That half a million dollars is something we never touch or see or have a thing to do with. They also say only a few of the Our Little League's 600 uniforms are late. Those are pretty they say nice. money for raffles yeah. and registration doesn't stretch, plus grant money for the 50 teams. They, they don't take any of that into consideration how expensive it is to run the league. Signatures did fill up the petitions, but not everyone signed. I'm not interested in signing it. Patricia Garcia says she hopes to learn more with the help of an attorney. Uh, we like to try to get to find out where the receipts and the expenditures of receipts of where our money has gone. But board members are confident Garcia will be proved wrong. I don't get anything out of it but seeing the kids smile, the happiness on their face, that was Annie McCormick reporting. Board members say they are also considering legal action because of the allegations. They also say the league's accountant just passed away, and that is why they cannot provide a detailed record.